Welcome back to the Wellness for Us podcast. Stories and tips to Spotify or YouTube and just type in Wellness for Us. I mean, you might have to put podcast on there, Wellness for Us podcast, and we sh- I should pop up. This is going to be a great episode because I have so much to talk to you about. I'm going to keep making sure I give you that affirmation mix. We're going to keep this uh this episode lively. We'll have a little bit of fun with it. Hello and welcome to the Wellness for Us podcast. Our goal is to provide you with wellness resources, information, and products that empower you on your journey to a healthier and happier lifestyle. And now, here's your host, Troy the Trainer. So let's get right into it. No further ado. Our first one was going to be refrigerator rehab. And we're talking about why is what's in our environment that is so dangerous. I'm going to take you back a little bit for you so you can see this. So this is one of my first videos that I ever posted. And it was over 10 years ago, right there. 10 years ago, I posted this video. I remember I was living out there in Stone Mountain. Um, and I was living in Kensington Station. I'll bring myself back here. Um, but here, I, I was living in Kensington Station at the time. And uh, I was all about being outdoors, all about being in the sunshine. And, you know, 10 years ago, it really wasn't popular um to even be thinking about um chemicals in the air or chemicals in the sky and so uh, i've been getting to do my research and got into my wellness thing and this is what ended up happening one day while i was walking and doing my morning exercise this is 10 years ago stone mountain kensington station apartments take a look Kensington Station, right here in the ATL. Uh, you know, it's a normal, regular apartment complex, just like anybody else's. The only thing is, I'm gonna let you look at something right quick. I want you to go. I'm just gonna go up slowly to the treetops. This is the sky, you know. And if you come around, it's a it's a it's a pretty clear sky. But now you start seeing these streaks in the sky, and uh, look at nobody that. can really explain. Oh man, that was what that these was, that streaks was in the sky day. are. Now look at this. Does that look like clouds to you? I mean, that you add, you add, you like answer the day. question. I mean, have you ever seen clouds do that? I'm gonna try to get that sun out of your face a little bit. But look at the crisscross. X marks the spot. Um, the last time I checked, clouds don't make X's last like time that I checked. in the sky. And tell them again. See how boy. big and how many streaks there are you know jets jets the stream the jet stream fades away you know right after the jet leaves these have been in the sky for about 25 30 minutes now and you know and it it just keeps going and going the sun is kind of blocking it but you can see a a a beautiful blue sky today it's a beautiful day outside but now i'm Mm -hmm. gonna let you see here look at this you see how far it goes into the distance you know uh jet jet streams don't do that you know, jet streams don't make big. You know, it was a real nice day out that day. And I just wanted to get out. You know, I was I was I was doing my nunchucks, man. You know what I'm saying? I was doing my workout. And think about you look up and you see the sky looking like that. What is up must come down. So in like three, four, five, six, seven hours. Now, the whole apartment complex is foggy. It went from a nice sunny day like that to four, six hours later being muggy, a type of fogginess going on. Yeah, man. That was 10 years ago. I'm going to let y'all see a little bit more of this. Exit like that uh, in the sky. And it just goes all the way. Look at this. All the way back. Look at this. Long way. I mean, you know, are you kidding me? See this? See, that's something. That's not, that's just not, that's just not smoke. You know, smoke does not do that. There ain't no and, smoke. Um, you know, I showed you some videos from across the town over on Panola Road 
over in Farrington Ridge, the same thing. You know, the same thing, same just like thing. this. This is what we're dealing with. So when you wonder why there's violence in the hood, when you wonder why, you know, people are shooting every day in the hood, then, you know, you better, you better ask somebody. What, ask what are they somebody. spraying in the air? I know that sun is kind of getting on you. I just want to kind of show All you right. how far back long way it back. goes. So that sun is kind of getting long Just wait back. a minute. Just hold on a second. Ten years ago, long hold way on, Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. All right, here okay. we go. Look at this. That's the when your environment looks like this, this is one of the main reasons that, you know, my mom and my grandparents, they didn't tell us about this stuff, but they made sure that we understood that we had to drink a lot of water. Like, it's just a normal thing that, you know what I'm saying, you have to drink a lot of water. Now, nowadays, there's a lot of options for water out there. So you got to choose one that fits your taste and, you know, you know your uh, your flavor profile. Um, but do your research. I'll, I've done some videos on water before, but I'll resurface some of those uh, for those of you that need them. Um, spring water is what you need. You need spring water in your diet. I know they say eight cups of water a day, but um, it's really about uh, the number of ounces you drink. So. If I'm not mistaken, it's um, half your body weight in ounces of water every day. Um, but I'll recheck that just to make sure. When you flush your body with water, a lot of times these pollutants that are in the air and the atmosphere will be washed out, right? By eating a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables, same thing. A lot of these uh, pollutants that may get trapped into your brain and into the cells and tissues of your brain, water, fruits, and vegetables will help to detoxify your blood and your brain. All right. This is that's that for this edition of Refrigerator Rehab um, Chemtrails. Um, keep yourself safe out there. Stay tuned because when we come back. We are going to be listening to one of the best videos that um, that I ever uh, recorded and uploaded. I think I did it about five years ago. Um, I think it's been about five years since I did that. But in our environment, we see sickness. We just got done with coronavirus. So... I'm going to let you listen to uh, a video that I have that is going to really impress upon us the, the reason that we need to be taking care of ourselves and our families and really looking out for those um, that don't know how to eat right, who don't know that they need to drink a lot of water, who don't you know, uh, understand how to eat fruits and vegetables on a regular basis. We need to be looking out for them. And this next clip is going to help us do that. But before we do that, as we always do on Wellness Radio, let's get in. And today we're giving out positive vibes on Wellness Radio. Good vibes number four. I am focused, taking one day at a time. 